It's Mr. H, and I am here to show you a Rubens tube. We're going to look at waves of fire via sound. You can see that I've put a membrane on one end of the tube, and the reason for that is you need something to hold the propane in, which will also bounce and move the waves from the sound waves coming out of your speaker into the propane inside of the tube. And you want it to be able to move enough that it will compress the propane and rarefact the propane at the different peaks and valleys of the longitudinal waves that are going through there. So we have the propane pushed all the way onto the nozzle so that we don't have any leaks at the beginning. And then the propane, when we turn it on, is going to go up through all of these little evenly spaced holes in our Rubens tube. So this is something that's fairly simple to make, but you need to be very safe with your setup so that you have everything lit on fire at once so that you don't have a propane leak of extra propane coming out. Now, this is the part where you can very clearly see the compression in this one area of our wave. As we hold that very specific frequency, you can see that there are two peaks, maybe almost three peaks, where the compressions are happening. As we go to other frequencies of sound, you'll notice that the peaks and troughs are going to change to be in different places. So let's take a look at that. I'll leave a link in the description to the frequency tuner that I'm using to do this, but you'll want to kind of bookmark certain frequencies that look best. The next important step is when you turn this fire on, you actually want the fire to be down quite low. As I play a song with the fire up fairly high, you'll see that it's not very dynamic. We're not seeing a big difference and a big bounce in the song that's being played. But in the next clip, I'm going to bring the fire down very, very low at the beginning, and that means less propane is coming out, and you're going to see a much more dynamic bounce to the music. So let's watch some of these. Now, I didn't have a slow motion camera when I shot the footage for this, but I thought it would be really interesting if you could slow this down enough that you could actually see the ripple of the wave coming through. As the compression pushes its way through the tube, you should actually be able to see that wave moving across from right to left in these videos. And you're here for the best part. When you turn the propane off, this tube is still completely filled with propane and it's going to leak out all over the room. So make sure that you blow into the tube. Don't breathe in. Make sure you're blowing out and you have this nice little display of safety at the end where you keep the flames going so that you've burned up all of the propane at the end. And you might need to do this two or three times to make sure that all of it's out of the tube and you don't end up with that propane all over the room. All right, I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe to my videos if you'd like to see more that's like this.